All right, so it's well past time that we sat down and did a real film room on Paris Campbell. I get there's there's not a lot of film on him, being that he's been hurt quite a bit. It's rookie season. He only played a, uh, half the games due to injury. And then last year, he, he tore that PCL, MCL, you know, early on in the season, was gone the rest of the season. But at the same time, had these freak injuries not occurred, especially the the PCL, MCL, I got a feeling Paris Campbell would have been probably the most targeted wide receiver on this offense with the Indianapolis Colts, especially for Phillip Rivers on crossing routes, drag routes, things of that nature. On this play, you just see how good Paris Campbell is and what speed really does do to a defense. It's a killer. Absolute killer. Right here, you're going to see Paris Campbell in the slot right up against the, just on the outside of the right tackle. Right here, Paris Campbell. He's lined up against this player right here. Watch what he does here. He lines up right to him, turns, and then instantaneously, as soon as he breaks away from him, he instantaneously has space. Rivers throws a pretty good ball. It's not perfect. You see him. He's got to line up, turn backwards to get it. It's not out in front of him. Why Why would you say that happened? Well, this is literally the second play of the season last year with no OTAs, no preseason, no nothing. So Phillip Rivers hadn't quite gotten Paris Campbell's speed down yet. So he wasn't able to lead him properly. Had he led him, he's gone. It's a touchdown. This corner would have never got him. And the safety would have never been able to, to catch. Because look how close he comes to literally getting away from all of them. And if we go over here, Paris coming up the outside. He's going to be at the top of the screen as he cuts. Look how he, he lines up. They end up colliding. He cuts back to the left. Watch where this throw is. He has to literally slow down. It's not way out in front of him. He has to slow down so that it's not behind him. And because he slows down, the corner then is able to get a little bit faster, catch up to him, and bring him down. Had that not happened, my goodness, that's a touchdown all day long. Speed is scary. And the fact that he can literally, he, he still kept up pretty good speed on this as he caught. Because he's all about catch and burst. He had to slow down a little to catch this. And as soon as he catches it, he turns and turns on the guns. But the problem is, obviously, this corner is already at full speed. Because he had to. From the break, he had to get to his top speed as quickly as possible. That's the only thing that saved this from being a touchdown week, week one against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Paris Campbell, with his speed... And his route running and his size is l literally nearly uncoverable on crossing and post routes. Especially digs. Digs are nearly impossible to cover him. As you see, the safety comes down. The safety comes down to cover Paris Campbell. The other safety drops back to single high. Why is that? Obviously, there's a... There's a blitz going to happen here. But the safety knows. He just watched this corner try to cover him earlier. In close man coverage. Can't happen. You got to have off man coverage. And on this play, it's just stupid. Watch what happens. Look how much. Look, he's backing up. Three yards past him. He is backing up away from him. Because he knows Paris can blow right by him at any moment. So he's trying to give him plenty of space. Even though literally three offensive plays before this, he burnt a guy coming in inside on the dig. And what, what a dig means, and I'm just going to let you know, a dig means that at the top of your route, you plant your foot, you dig your foot into the turf to make a sharp inward cut towards the inside of the field. That's why it's known as a dig route. All right, you plant, you dig your outside foot in to the turf to cut inside. Watch 
Paris, as soon as he starts cutting out, he cuts inside. Look at that. Again, the exact same route. The exact same route for him. It's not the same route for the guys around him, but it's the same route for him. Again, plenty of space. You, it's, it's almost uncoverable. Rivers is like, holy crap, there he is again. And again, it's not let out in front of him. He has to slow down, turn around, catch the football. The safety's able to come up to try to get him. But Paris realizes that. Watch, I mean, good Lord. He even tries to go after and get some extra uh, yards after catch. He didn't need to. He could have just went down. He could have TY'd it right there, you know, just fell to the ground. It's fine because it's a first down. That's all that matters on this play. But the dig route with Paris Campbell is nearly uncoverable with only one single player. You nearly have to bring a safety down uh, to intercept that route at the point of catch. Because if you don't, he's going to be open nearly every stinking time. Paris Campbell's not just a guy who can run a 4-3-40. He's also six foot tall. Six foot tall. That's a rare combination in the NFL. Rare. Generally, your 4-3 guys are under six foot. What does this combination mean? Well, he's got average wide receiver height. Which means you can throw the ball just a little bit deeper, a little bit higher for guys like Paris Campbell, who's six foot. And with his speed, makes it very difficult to cover someone like this. On this route, you're going to watch Paris right here come up and then take an out route from the middle. It's like a dig route, but on the other side, right? He's on the other. So he's cutting to the outside from the inside rather than cutting to the inside from the outside. And on this play, it's just ridiculous to watch. Because as we see, Paris comes up. He makes this cut. This is actually pretty good coverage by the corner. He cuts with him pretty. I mean, he's got space on the corner if the ball's thrown out in front so that he can separate with his speed. But quite frankly, Phillip Rivers' arm strength kind of, you know, slows this play down a little bit. He ends up throwing it out in front, which is beautiful. It actually helps the corner a little bit because now Paris has to cross in the route of the cornerback. See that? Right in front of him. So the corner's diving to make this tackle. But look as we go over here and Rivers throws this football. He could have thrown this just a hair earlier or with the arm. Because see the loop that he has. Look, Paris, watch this football in. Running. This is difficult to keep high speed. Run straight. Follow the football. Drop into your arms. This is a well-placed ball, by the way. But look at that. Beautifully done. Catches the football as he's being tackled. Brings it in. Hits the ground, slide, bam. Great hand-eye coordination to bring the football in as he's being tackled. And because he's six foot, that play was able to actually happen. Had he been 5'8", five, 5'9", five, like your normal 4'3", guys, that would have been a difficult pass, a difficult completion to make. So what happens when your speed is literally burning a defense consistently over and over and over, well, I'll tell you what happens. It ends up making it so that you end up having to put two guys on him, right? You have to put two guys on him because if you don't, he's going to eat you alive. And on this play, it's Paris Campbell that allows this play to really develop because if it wasn't for Paris Campbell and his speed clearing out both safeties, both safeties, then there's a good chance this ball could have been intercepted. Let's take a look at this a little bit closer. As we see Paris Campbell's in the slot here. Now this ball goes down here to Zach Pascal. Watch Paris Campbell go right up the gut 
Watch his route. Beautiful. Look how fast he is. Watch this. Right up the gut. Automatically, now you got this safety's like, oh crap, he's coming. I got to cover him. Look, this safety's already running deep. He knows Paris has got speed. He'll blow right by this safety, no problem. But because he took off, this spot right here is open for Rivers to throw this ball to Pascal to. It's Paris Campbell's ungodly speed that allows this first down throw to Zach Pascal. Because had that speed not taken this safety out, you see where, where the safety is. He was literally ready. But he's seen, oh no. Right? Watch how quickly he does this. Watch how fast he is at full at full clip here. Watch this. So smooth, so quick, down the field. You have to cover the man. And if you don't put two guys on him, he's going to kill you deep. But in doing so, you're taking two defenders off the field. You have basically made it simple and easy, taking two guys off of there. Now you've only got four guys covering anything inside rather than five. This is supposed to be your deep guy. But if he don't cover him, Rivers can throw it out this way and Paris is gone. His speed alone, even if the ball is not targeted to him, allows for everybody else's job on the field to be just a little bit easier. You got to keep that in mind. All right, so we got 17 seconds left in the half. All right, you need one yard to get a first down. This ball ends up going to Naheem Hines out here, right? But watch this route combination against zone defense where Pascal clears out this safety, makes him move a little bit, and Paris Campbell comes out here. Now, even though the ball goes to Naheem Hines, had... Philip Rivers looked off Naheem Hines and turned and thrown to Paris Campbell. Paris would only had to make one guy miss to make a touchdown. Watch this play as it develops. Just, just watch this. This is, this is absolutely beautiful. Watch. All right. So Paris comes out here. You see Campbell. Now, right now, had he, now you see the corner. He's already moving out with, with Cam, uh, with. Zach Pascal. This is already a first down throw. And you've got one, two, three guys over here on this side for Naheem Hines. Now, yes, if this is a completion, it's also a first down. He's going to catch it. He'll get his first down easy. But remember, there's only 17 seconds left in the half. So, you know, you always want to have a touchdown. You want to score before the half, obviously. But touchdown's always a priority. And quite frankly, this Guy right here, this cornerback is too far over to catch Paris Campbell had Rivers turned and thrown to him. As we watch, Rivers pump faked. Now, he pump faked, right? Arms down, he pump faked, corner still moving back. The pump fake brought the corner in. Campbell still wide open. And had he had a quick arm, let's say like Carson Wentz. Let's say Carson Wentz pump faked this right now and then turned and threw to Campbell, right? And he turned and threw to Campbell hard. Bam, hit him. All he'd have to do was catch. He would have had to stop, turn around, and line himself up. Campbell could have maybe made a quick move inside. He would have burnt past Schobert. He would have burnt past this corner. And guess what? Zach Pascal's a heck of a blocker. He could have blocked out this safety. And all he, had, all he had to do have done was make a little quick outside move, juke this guy, cut back inside, gone, touchdown. Instead, Rivers now throws to Hines, who now has three guys he has to, to deal with. Obviously not able to deal with the first one. Now, it's a possibility. It's a possibility that 
Campbell wouldn't have been able to shake this guy, much like Hines wasn't able to shake him. But had he done it, he had had a better chance of going down to score that touchdown because this safety has a guy out here to block him. T.Y. Hilton's not blocking out a safety. So, this in this situation, I would have thought Campbell would have been a much better option. But, it is what it is, right? Let's, let's see how good Campbell is at, at actually uh, performing with his vision in the open field. Now, I had to go back to 2019, his rookie year, to get something. Because, like I said, last year there just wasn't a whole lot to really get good open field uh, moves by Paris Campbell. And let's watch this. Watch how good, how quick, even a slight move on somebody will dust them. Right here, we got Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. This is the Pittsburgh Steelers, by the way, week nine. And here's Paris Campbell. He's going to do a, a little drag route. Watch this play as it develops. It's very, very simple. Paris comes across on this drag. First off, how difficult is it to cover a guy on a drag that runs a 4-3? It's nearly impossible. Now, you see they're in zone. And that's very much similar to the, the, the play that we had, or the, the defense that was shown on the on the previous clip. Campbell's going to get this ball. Brissett throws the football out to him. And as he catches it, he turns. Now we got a cornerback, number 22 for the Pittsburgh Steelers, coming in hard on Paris Campbell. Campbell is almost at a dead stop at this point. A dead stop because he had to turn around opposite of the direction he was going, right? watch he catches this football and basically right there he, he was at a dead stop he's taking off while this corner is coming in hard to stop him watch what Paris Campbell just a slight shimmy outside inside oh no you ain't getting him that is nasty and because of that because of the little shh just a slight shimmy. Number 22 was unable to get Paris Campbell. And he's able, and Paris is so fast. So fast. That he could just take off from that point on. Right? Take off from that point on. Beautiful. I can't tell you how dangerous it is when a cornerback who knows how fast you are. And how agile and athletic you are. How difficult it is to guess if you're going right or left when you're coming up on him. And if you give him even the slightest look, which is what Paris does here, at the perfect time. At the perfect time, he gives him the slight outside look right there and then cuts back inside. And his burst is so good. He'll break that arm tackle. And he's gone. So I want to thank you so much. Because. That right there proves my point. About Paris Campbell. At least I think so. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching my film room. On how dangerous Paris Campbell really is. Um, as we go through the ending outro here. You can see the reverse for Paris Campbell. Ends up being 22 yards. Against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Very phenomenal defense. Um, please don't forget, smash that like button. It'll help my analytics out a lot. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you tag that notification bell. Tagging that notification bell will make sure and turn all notifications on so that you're notified when I upload or go live, right? I really, really would appreciate that. Uh, don't forget, check out the description of the video below for links to my merch shop and my Patreon. Very simple. Until then, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law. This is Film Room of how dangerous Paris Campbell when healthy really, really is for the Indianapolis Colts. Have a good one.
Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.